Yom. Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you something that we all have in common. Um, we know that in travel, we have to provide travelers with instant personalized experience or will become irrelevant in the future. But how to do that? Are overburdened call centers, replies to emails, or human life chats that take nine minutes to reply to you the way we want travelers to live a true brand experience? Well, not really. So that's why, at Mindsay, we provide companies with fully trained AI chatbots dedicated for travel. We change the travel experience on any social media and messaging channels for good. If you look at the average price of a call center request, it's $2.24. With Mindsay, it's 0.02. So don't, not only do we change the travel experience for good, but we also save companies a ton of money. Over the past three years, we've started Mindsay and grew it to a 60-people company with 30 amazing engineers and data scientists. We have offices in three countries, in two continents, did two rounds of funding, and raised a total of $12 million. Over the past three years, we've grown our revenue 4.5 times year on year, and it's recurring revenue through SaaS license. So we work currently with 30 global brands and help them solve the customer support dilemma and bring travelers into the future. So what is different about our chatbot technology? We have a vertical approach. We work with travel companies, OTAs, TMCs, hotels, airlines, and we have dedicated pre-built use case for them. This allows us to deploy a chatbot in under four weeks on any customer channels, whether it's on the website, on the apps, on Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, but even voice channels like Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. The second differentiator at Mindsay is that we have built an enterprise tool for business teams. So it's not a developer tool that is extremely complex to use. Customer support managers can train the AI to understand better how to reply to customers. Marketing team can edit the content very easily and have the right tone of voice for their brand. And tech team, they can just click and, click and connect any GDS, CRS, CRM, or even uh, proprietary APIs using, for example, NDC. Once the bot is live, we have deployed a proprietary algorithm that learns from the users. This allows our bots to know when it's replying correctly to the user or when it needs the help of a human agent. And on top of that, it also provides amazing analytics about what customer needs, how the automation is going, and is it really bringing value for the company and for the travelers? So our bots are available 24-7. They do simple things like luggage information through FAQ, but provide response with context. It can also help on more complex use cases like conversational booking and marketing. For example, upgrading a seat through an airline chatbot and this is actually connected to the airline system to process the booking inside the GDS. And when the conversation is too complex, it can be handed over to an agent on any agent customer support platform, including Salesforce, Genesis, Intercom, or Zendesk. Our pricing model is really simple. We charge a fee per user per year. This fee varies between 0.02 to $2 per user, and is based on volume and complexity. And we have pre-built plans that allows company to scale as we scale with them. I'm very, very proud to be a company on this journey with amazing people that have academ top academic backgrounds, work for travel companies like Expedia or Booking, and we're backed by venture capitalists both in France and in the US. So if I have to leave you with one thought, 
Before coming to Focusrite, our, our, the entire Mindset team prepared a chatbot personalized to each company present in the audience. So if you're curious to see how is the Mindset chatbot of your brand, we have a booth over there, or come talk to me after the pitch. Thank you very much. Thank you, Guillaume. <laughs> Take a seat on the stool. I'm sorry, I'm laughing a little. That's a pretty good hook at the end there. That Thank was, you. That was pretty fun. well played. Good, good job. <laughs> Prepare. It's actually, it's actually true. It's not, a, it's not a marketing I play. Think, I think that the challenge is can the audience break your bot? So we'll see, we'll see what happens. For sure. Yeah. It'll For be sure fun. they will. <laughs> um, I, listen, I, I think this is a big opportunity. Um, there are, we've seen on this stage and in, in the marketplace, um, a few dozen companies in this. And, and I know you highlighted some of your differentiations, I think, but I'd love to just very clearly. In, in the travel-specific, you know, bot segment, um, you know, what is it that you're doing differently that you think allows you to break through where a lot have struggled to gain traction? Absolutely. So um, first, the proof is that our traction is the proof that our technology makes a difference compared to generalist approach. So to give you the two differentiators, the first one is since we have those pre-built use cases, bots that can be delivered and that solve current customer uh, challenges. It's a go-to-market that is much faster, and it's instant value both for the traveler and for the companies that work with us. And the second differentiator is we have pre-built connectors to systems that travel companies already use, including GDS, CRS, NDC, and any APIs. So it's really the go-to-market launch for companies that use our technology and the maintainability and evolving of the solution over time that is very different from any other solution. But you guys are, it is a generalist platform. It's not just travel, right? So no, we work exclusively with travel companies. Oh, it is only travel. Okay, yeah, okay. that's <laughs> one of the main differentiators. <clears throat> that, that, makes, that makes a ton of sense, because I, I was confused about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, uh, sorry, can I just go to the, the pricing model? I didn't quite understand that. So you're saying between two cents and two dollars per user. Yeah. But what does that mean per user? Uh, so, it's, is, is it only aimed at enterprise, or is there a sort of a consumer use case as well? So essentially, we charge companies a SaaS license per year, depending on the number of users well, that will chat. Uh, and what's a user? Right. So it's a traveler that chats with the a bot. Tra okay, got yeah, it. A they have to actually engage with the bot to be charged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. But, it, but it's, it's for the whole interaction, though. Two cents for that whole interaction. Exactly. The back and forth with the bot, as long as the user is, is talking. Is it session-based? I mean, once you leave, can you come back into that conversation? Or? So this really depends on the channels. Like on the website, sometimes it's anonymous. You come and you go, it's two users. On WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, the user is identified either with its phone number or its Facebook ID, so it's continuous. I definitely think your go-to-market and your time to deploy four weeks, I think that's really unique. But I, I'm struggling a little bit. It's a chat bot. It's in travel. It's connected to everything. So I, I, if I were to come back, I'd say, OK, two things. One, your go-to-market's really quick, which is great, time, time to value, and that you're only in travel. To me, there needs to be a bit more of a moat around it, because I'm not seeing enough that's protecting you and your your approach greater than that. So that, that's just my advice as I sit back and look at it. it. It's great, but you're comparing yourself to the general call centers, and I think you're actually competing with a bunch of others that are playing in the exact same space. Oh, yeah. And that's the piece that, that I'm not seeing as clear of a mode around. So we compete against solutions that are you know, down markets or up markets, like uh, IBM Watson, for example, and Microsoft Azure. And we provide the technology that is already connected to the tools that they already use. So that's, that's one of the main differentiators. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Guillaume. Thank you very much.